first overall tip that I'm going to talk about is Okay, so my pro tip And I think my biggest tip My pro tip Just moved into my new room and check out that painting of San Francisco It came with the room Love it So this happened yesterday and I wish it didn't because I was supposed to film this intro before, but I'm actually filming the intro after the rest of the video. So that's why now I have to film the intro with this. Anyways, it's interview season. That means you submitted your applications months ago. You have been waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally, some schools got back to you and congratulations, they invited you for an interview. You know what you should do? But you're not done yet. Honestly, for me, interviews were the most fun time in my application cycle. When I applied, we were still taking our interviews in person. But a lot of you guys will be interviewing through Zoom. Luckily, a lot of these tips I'm about to tell you is applicable for Zoom, and some of them are actually specifically for Zoom interviews. Make sure to watch through to the end of the video because you definitely do not want to miss any of these five tips because these five tips potentially might help you get into your dream dental school and I would like that for you. The first overall tip that I'm going to talk about is professionalism. You are applying to dental school or medical school. That is a professional school. This isn't college anymore. Um, college doesn't even have interviews. This is the real deal. Now, that comes with a certain level of expectations and the way that you need to go about carrying yourself, you know, talking to others, how you dress. Everything is really important. The interview starts as soon as you walk onto the campus, or in your case, it might be as soon as you log into the zoo. Actually, I think the interview starts even before that because through researching about the school, I think you should be talking to dental students from that school to get the inside scoop, not only for yourself, but also because you can bring up these certain points that other people applying maybe couldn't find on the website or looking at SDN. I'm actually gonna be interviewing students in about a week or two of incoming students to UCSF School of Dentistry and we did get interview training. In our training, we talked about different biases that could influence how we view a student applicant. And although we are trained to not look at these biases, we're getting training on them because they actually do have some sort of an influence. So make sure you're well-groomed. Make sure that you're dressed in business attire, that the suit fits you well and it's not too small or too oversized. Your posture, how you carry yourself, remembering to smile, all of those go into making a a great first impression. For Zoom, make sure that your bedroom is tidy. Mine's okay right now. I would clean it up more if I was about to have an interview. One pro tip that I heard is actually you can put the banner or the school's name in your background, of your Zoom's background. I heard of interviewers giving people compliments and definitely adding to their overall positive impression of someone because they did that. Also, you never know what's gonna happen. You might have to stand up, so please wear pants. So the vision for this video is instead of me yabbering about all the different tips, I wanted to get some of my classmates involved to make it more entertaining and so you could hear a different perspective. So let's talk to some of my friends and move on to tip number two. All right, so I'm here with Sonia for our very next tip. She has a HPSP plus shot. She, she has an H. She, I'm a part she, of the HPSP program, which is Health Profession Scholarship Program through the military. So I'm in the U.S. Army right now, and they are paying for dental school, and I will be a dentist in the Army when I graduate. Exactly. And now, since you're already talking, why don't you tell us your pro tip? Okay, so my pro tip is make sure you interview this school. So you've already done so much work preparing your application and getting everything ready, so they know a lot about you. But what do you know about them? Make sure when you go to school that you are have questions ready for the faculty, questions ready for the students, um, and that you are ready to interview them. You want to make sure this is a place that you are comfortable in, you like the student body, you like the environment. So utilize this time to ask questions and make sure that you are happy where you're at. Thank you for the pro tip. Now on to the next one. All right, for our third tip, we're here with Brandon inside of wow. Simulation Lab. He is part of ASDA, the Ortho Club, Past Scalpel, and of course, Subtle Asian Traits. Brandon, <laughs> what is your number one tip for interviews? Interview day is such a big day. I think you work so hard to get to that moment, and it's finally there. Uh, a lot of anxiousness, a lot of nervousness, but my best tip is just to be yourself, be true to yourself, and they ultimately invited you for a reason and they just want to see whoever you were that you stated on paper 
And I think my biggest tip actually going into interviews is tell me about yourself. Start off with your name, your major, your hometown, maybe your upbringings and a lot of things that you're passionate about because they tend to follow up on questions that you bring up during that moment and it kind of sets the tone and momentum for how the entire interview is going to play out. So those are my best tips. Hope to see you guys at UCSF. Good luck. That was so much better. Thank you, Brandon, for tip number three. And now let's move on to tip number four. Here to give our fourth tip is Mia. Mia is on the class board. She is vice president of SIO, which we're standing out of right now. And also she does orthodontic research. So Mia, what is your number one pro tip? My pro tip for interviewing at dental schools is to know what type of interview you have, whether it's an MMI, a one-on-one, -on -one, or um, group interviews. This is really important because you kind of want to practice for that and get your mock interviews in with that same interview style so that you know what to expect come your interview day. Sometimes there's like student dentists that are interviewing you and sometimes there's faculty that are interviewing you so just knowing what to expect will definitely help you just feel super prepared for interview day. The last tip that I have for you guys that will really help you right before the interview, and it's something that I did as well, right before you go into the interview, you want to have a lot of confidence. And of course, the confidence is going to be built up throughout the days of preparing for the interview, and as well as being just built up throughout your life. But it's the last few minutes before the interview, what should you do? What I did is I went into the bathroom before every single one of my interviews, and there's two things that I did. One thing was just to close my eyes, Take a really deep breath and let it out slowly. Focus on the breath. Easy meditation activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which you'll all learn in dental school. Essentially, it'll make you feel really calm. So in turn, you'll be able to gather your thoughts and formulate your words better. The last thing that I did in the bathroom, which was kind of the opposite, it was to pump myself up and give me that little last juice of confidence was to practice power posing. So I know it's really silly and I had a good few laughs with people in the bathroom, but essentially you're just going to hold your arms out wide like this. So I would do this, I would look up a little bit for a few seconds. Then I'll do one of these, pretending like I'm Usain Bolt, feeling on top of the world extremely confident heading out of that bathroom to my interview. I hope you guys got something out of the videos and you can take these five tips and crush your own interview and get into the dental school of your dreams. Make sure to stay tuned in next week because next week I'll be going over the top five most common interview questions and exactly how to answer them. And I might even make a third part of the series going over what you should wear to your interview. Let me know in the comments below if you like this format of the video, bringing friends in to help me shoot. Thank you so much again to Sonia, to Mia, to Brandon for helping me shoot this video. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.